We're backstage here with Ryan Hurd at Country Fest 2019. Uh, we have known your wife longer than you have, by the way. I know that. Film. <laughs> That's absolutely true. She tells stories about coming into the station and like with when she was like 14 years old. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of crazy to be here tonight and get an opportunity to play her hometown. Uh, and it's her parents are here, so that's that's really fun for us. And. Uh, yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's a huge night for us. We actually tried to give meet and greet passes to somebody that's related or knows y'all. We walked up and we were like, hey, we've got Ryan Hurd meet and greets. And they're like, we're, we're family. Oh, oh definitely okay. Scott. Never mind. That's definitely, uh, <laughs> that's definitely them. <laughs> that kind of that kind of stuff happens here. But it's, it's really cool to have, um, you know, an, an artist that you feel like is your own. And then now we feel like you're an extension of us now. We're like, yeah, Thank he's you. part you're of the family. You're welcome to come by at any time and hang yeah. out with us, too. <laughs> I would love to. I mean, it's so cool. We come down here all the time just for holidays. And anytime we get an opportunity. And uh, we had a wedding here a couple weeks ago. So, um, yeah, I just this is like... I feel very at home here just because this is Marin's hometown. So uh, it's it's definitely one you circle on the map because you know it's going to be special. And we're actually throwing a party on my bus right now with all of our friends here. Yes. <laughs> and I don't I think it's going to get uh, kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, this tour has been so fun. It's been so fun to like have an opportunity to like have my song on the radio here and and just I don't know we've been looking forward to tonight for a long time well, we have two we definitely have two now where are you from originally I'm from uh, Kalamazoo Michigan I was born in Chicago and I uh, grew up in Michigan so I claim both um, so uh, but I've lived in Nashville for a long time so that's home now All right. so is there anything strange about Texas that you're still trying to get used to because it's more than just you traveling nothing, here for uh, shows there's nothing strange about barbecue uh, amen to that I, I just really have enjoyed uh, that part of it and uh, the tacos yes but uh, yeah I just really feel home at home here it's uh, you know we have so many friends and uh, we come down for holidays and, and uh, I don't know if there's anything strange I, I, it doesn't feel it just feels like I fit here in a cool way, so I, I, I enjoy it. All right, let's go back to Michigan just for a second here. Uh, when you were growing up, did you ever tour the uh, the Kellogg factory? Uh, I'm from like 30 minutes yeah, away from there, <laughs> so I, no, I, it's. I mean, I think people do go to Battle Creek to do that, but they. <laughs> My brother did. We lived in East Lansing for a long. Wait, time. what is what is this? What, what is do you this? speak of? The Ke Kellogg's is based in Battle Creek, Michigan, which is this is getting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Which is in like 30 minutes east of where I'm from, and uh, so if you ever go to Battle Creek, it smells like cereal. Yeah. It what? Yeah. And in school kids, it's like a big thing for school kids to go to the Kellogg plant. Yeah, it is. I'm not. It's, wow. Yeah. I've, I toured the Stetson plant today, so I yeah, feel like we've that's. Heard about that, yeah. I feel like that's the most Texas thing you could ever do. And uh, did you get a hat? I, I did get a hat. My tour manager Chase got this beautiful. Yeah, can we this get a picture? Of Chase beautiful. Uh, Chase, come in the frame there. Chase that is there. nice. I don't know if you could tell by Chase and me and what we're wearing today, but we came to party. <laughs> I, Chase really looks what, like he came to party. What what kind of hat did you choose? What did you, we came to get down? Uh, I wanted to choose one that was like. Uh, a little more like what that fit my style, but uh, I'm I'm definitely gonna text them and be like, hey man, I need a couple more. They didn't have as many options in the because it was Saturday and they had a they didn't have as many hats out for me. So uh, I got a really cool hat. It's like a felt like uh, it's like a straight build hat. It's less yeah. cowboy y but I'm gonna get uh, another. I want to get one of those Richard Petty hats mm -hmm. that oh, they yeah, make. Yeah. They make for him. Yeah, yeah. They had a bunch of King hats over there for him, and okay. they also make the George Strait hats. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty cool. That's not Stetson, but I got to see all that stuff and. Um, There's still hand placing stickers in those hats. I went like this last year to tour the same thing. It's amazing. And these these people were like hand sticking the stickers in there. It's truly it was overwhelming to see how much stuff. I call it a groove. It's like you walk in and it's just like these people have been doing it for so long. Yeah. It's, it's so involved. Yeah. They just got a groove and it's amazing. And it was, it's just so cool because that's such an iconic American brand. And then I like, I mean, they have pictures of every president wearing a Stetson. Yeah. I mean, like, I, see, the hat I want to get is the Lyndon Johnson open road hat. They had those there. I saw yeah. them making those this morning. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. I, saw, I was at a concert a couple weeks ago and there's so many people wearing those now. Like, they're coming back into style. You know, the one that I picked out, but uh, I didn't end up 
uh, they, they didn't have any finished today because they were making them in this factory. It was amazing. But they had the uh, the Boy Scout hat. Oh, yeah, the campaign hat. Yeah. Smokey the Bear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Only you can prevent uh, yeah. forest fires. Yeah, it's, it's called the campaign. It's it's a, And then they had the uh, cavalry hats for the U.S. Army. So they still allow, like, if you ride a horse for the U.S. Army, they will. It's not official, but they allow you to wear this yeah. Stetson hat. It's pretty yeah. cool. Oh, so many cool things. So So Texas, so American. It was awesome. Hey, we got to talk a little baby talk here. What do you want to know? I, I don't know very much, but I'm excited. We'll learn real fast. You're going to learn real fast. Yeah, man. We're just, it was so fun to have that just for us for a couple months and for our families and friends. And Marin's not good at keeping secrets, so I'm surprised that we got to like the appropriate like length of time uh, before we announced it to everybody. But it's so fun to be able to talk about it now. And uh, I don't know. This baby's going to grow up on a tour bus it's like little country music baby running around and uh it'll probably be so sick of music by the time it's like seven or eight years old but uh we're just really blessed and and happy and the timing's perfect so uh yeah i don't uh, that's about all i can i don't know anything else i mean we're like i learn something new every day you should at least feel a little bit more relaxed because the child really has no choice other than to be like this music prodigy i'm coming from the both of you (laughs) (laughs) i I'm like, don't. Uh, this is a hard job. So, <laughs> like, yeah, no, maybe they'll be great. Maybe he'll be a, a little stud of a singer or something. But, but I'm like, man, just go to school and do something easy. <laughs> do something like math, where you uh, can do anything with it. Beca- become an accountant. I don't know. We'll see. I. Uh, th- but we're we're both lucky to get to do the job uh, that we love, and we're both uh, really blessed that our kid's gonna grow up in that environment. So I think when you have two people who are like really settled personally, and then that just makes for a really great marriage and a really great place to uh, have a kid. So uh, we talk about it obviously every day. It's starting to move a little bit, which is, I can't feel it yet, but she can it. She always tells me, hey, he's, <laughs> it's like, he's a, He's uh, kicking today, so uh, yeah, we're, we're really thrilled. Well, we're excited for you both. Very excited for you both. And very excited for you to take the stage tonight. Yeah. Country Fest 2019, Ryan Hurd. You'll see him out there, and you'll see us out there. Bye, y'all. <laughs>